Hi everybody, it's yours truly here with our wonderful curriculum manager, Ali Lesnar, and we're here to talk to you today about the Victoria Stillwell Academy and the awesome, awesome programs we have. If you are an aspiring dog trainer, then VS Academy, I call it the VS Academy because it's kind of weird me saying Victoria Stillwell Academy, but VSA, I'll call it from now on. We are the course that you must come to and learn with because it's the creme de la creme. Ali, tell, please tell everybody about, you know, why our course is so different and why our course is, has so many great learning options. Well, we are an evidence-based course, and many times you hear that you think content-wise, right? That we cite a lot of different studies, that all of our content is based off of those studies, and you'd be absolutely right. But not only is our content based on um, evidence and scientific research, but also how we deliver that content is based on scientific research. So you may think about when you were in school and you think about all the lecturing that you received. I know when I went to school, I had a lot of teachers lecture and you'd sit there and you'd listen and you'd take notes and it was all very passive, but that's not what we do at VSA and that's not what the latest research is telling us to do. So our courses are learner-centered performance-based. We care about you and we wanna know how you want to learn and we wanna know what prior knowledge are you bringing to this course. But not only are we learner-centered, we're also performance-based, that we care about what's gonna happen after graduation. We want you to be able to start as a professional dog trainer the moment that you graduate and you're certified from our course. So the entire course is designed around these learning objectives to help you hone in on these core competencies and master not only the knowledge that you need, but also the skills that you need to be a certified dog trainer. So we have two, I would say two courses you could take, right? They're both the same course, but there are two options. One is the online only course where you could do it in your pajamas, right? It's the online only course and that's purely online. The other, is the dog trainer course that also has two intensives. So it's the in-person course. And um, where you come to us twice throughout your learning experience, which is six months, but twice in the six months, you come to us for about five days and you learn with us and other faculty and you get hands-on dogs as well as learning how to interact with people. So you really hone your skills, your dog training skills. Tell me more about the differences between the online um, only and the in-person dog trainer courses. Yeah, so our online course, again, like Victoria said, is designed to be done in the comfort of your own home. You get access to over 100 hours of our instructor-led content. So. Victoria or one of our other amazing faculty members is going to be talking you through slides and videos, activities, a lot of engaging things that you can do at your own pace. You get access to that content and you also get access to a faculty advisor. You'll have one of our leading dog training experts from all over the globe. You'll have your own assigned faculty advisor who's gonna meet with you during your set office hours. You get one office hour a week during the six months of the course and you'll get to ask them questions about the course content and you'll also work through your skill assessments with your faculty advisor. You'll be getting feedback with them and they'll be coaching you through those skill assessments. So that's our online course, but what do you get for the in-person course? You get all of that, plus you get our live cyber classes. So that's led by our VSA faculty. That's like webinar style, but you're in there with your, uh, with your peers and also with our VSA faculty. You get the in-person intensives, which we'll talk a little bit more about, and you also get a local mentor in addition to your faculty advisor. So you'll have someone on the ground, a professional dog trainer in your area that you'll go shadow them for group classes and private lessons. You'll get to see someone doing it in person. So you'll get all of that and more in our in-person in course. But let's talk about intensives a little bit. We have added a lot to our intensives. Our intensives are intense. They are intense because, um, you know, we want people not just to be skilled dog trainers, so skilled, hands-on with dogs, right? Learning how to um, communicate, how to essentially train, teach dogs. But it's also really important that you learn how to speak with the owner of that dog, speak with the client, because you're having to motivate that person to train their dog. They become the most important trainer in their dog's life, not you. 
So we teach you the skills of that. As well as, you know, VSA, we do focus a lot on business as well, because you might be the best dog trainer in the world, but if nobody knows about you, then no one's going to employ you. So we teach you a lot about marketing and business. That's a very important part of both courses. Um, and, you know, essentially both courses are the same except for the intensive components. So the intensives, the reason why I like this is that from the word go, from the word go, when I was learning all the theory of dog training, I was working with dogs. I was working dogs in a shelter environment, which is very hard. So I kind of had a baptism of fire almost, is that I was just thrown into the deep end. And um, that's where I became very skilled very quickly in working with dogs. And that's what I want to bring to, or what we do bring to the intensives, is this developing of those skills. And you work with all kinds of dogs. You'll work with rescue dogs. You'll work with own dogs. Some of you will get to work with working dogs, working search and rescue kind of dogs. Um, and, and so you get that ability to work with all kinds of dogs, as well as this amazing adult, I call it adult-centered learning, client-centered counseling, but, um, and, and that's where you're really learning by doing. I think that's probably one of the best ways to learn because I'm like, Ali, I had that experience where the teacher stands up in front of the class and lectures at you and you're just sitting there for hours writing. Well, that's good. You're going to learn. But in order to be really effective, you've got to physically experience it. Mm -hmm. So at our intensives, we have a binder that you'll receive that walks you through all of the activities that we do at the intensives. And you'll get to take that home and use that. Also throughout the course, you'll receive learning guides that help you study and really guide you through that studying process. Mm -hmm. Rather than wasting your time rewriting and rewriting notes, when the evidence suggests that that's not the best way to study, our learning guides help you reflect, help you pull from prior knowledge and help you remember things and push it from short-term memory into long-term memory so that ultimately you'll be able to remember these things. I mean, do you mm. remember like who, where, what year did Attila the Hun live? Do you remember? No idea. No idea. Mm. So these things that we don't remember from school, why don't we remember them? Well, we need to remember dog body language, right? <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. The, the only thing that I remember from my history class um, I did have a great history teacher, was the projects that I did. Mm, that's so true. I remember, oh, we used to make maps, and we would actually draw where, I know where Attila the Hun went, because we drew maps of him. But you don't know when. I don't know no. when. <laughs> but we do that at the intensives. We do case studies. We become ethologists for a day, that we get to sit down and use um, things that field ethologists use when they're out there. And you get to walk through dog body language with your faculty. You get to walk through functional assessments. We get to play cognition games and see how different dogs respond to different things. Mm -hmm. We get to actually go through a group class of what does a group class look like? What does a consultation look like? We'll be doing these mock scenarios when you get to work with real dogs and real clients mm -hmm. and watch your faculty members do that as well. And the best part is you get to take that home and you get to see that live on online as well. So you'll, uh, get access to our student learning center, which we refer to as our SLC. So that's where all of our online content is housed. It's a dynamic learning experience that you get 20 modules that walk you through all of our core competencies of training dogs, teaching people and business smarts and you'll get to work through these lessons. So the lessons will pop up and you, again, you have an instructor that's leading you through these things. You get to control your destiny as you hit next for each one of our exciting slides. And if you're interested in seeing the SLC, you can find it at vsdogtrainingacademy.com and try out our starter course. If you're one of those people like me that you wanna try it before you buy it, you gotta mm -hmm. see it, you gotta have something that you can look at before you buy, you can take our starter course, Building Your Dog's Confidence with Victoria. And that's a fun course in yeah, itself. Yeah, it is. It's a really, you get to learn a lot. I mean, confidence is what our dogs really need. We can do so many things to promote that in our dogs. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, we are so glad that you could watch our video today and learn more about um, the Victoria Stowell Academy. And we do hope that you look, uh, you go to vsdogtrainingacademy.com, find out more information about it, about the, um, the online course, the online only course, the in-person dog trainer course too, and um, check it out. And we will hopefully see you either online or in person very soon.